the shit in New York City. What's good, YouTube? For your weight loss enthusiasts, your exercise enthusiasts, your bodybuilding enthusiasts, here's a video for you. Insulin is the shit that will keep you from being fit. The more insulin in your body, it's going to make you not be burning fat. Protein raises insulin, but not to the degree where it really inhibits fat loss. But when you combine protein with a carb, then that increases your insulin. Now, there's so many different factors, so many that one can lose weight. One is calorie reduction, being in a calorie deficit. That's one way. But if you're insulin resistant, am I preaching to somebody? If you're insulin resistant, then even a small degree of raising your insulin will prevent you from losing fat. I'm gonna raise that window. So now, if you are eating foods that don't considerably raise your insulin, then you'll continually be in the fat burning zone. So for those that do keto, if you're doing a ketogenic diet, those foods don't necessarily raise your insulin to a degree that inhibits fat loss. But once that insulin hormone is turned on, fat loss is reduced. That's why intermittent fasting allows your body to utilize fat in your body as energy. The most efficient fuel source is fat. But it doesn't mean you got to be in a ketogenic diet to lose weight. Another thing that you could do is making sure that your grams of carbohydrates is not that high. So, as a rule of thumb, they say, the FDA, the RDA, or whatever the fuck, they say you should have 45 to 65%, the higher end, 65% of your calories from carbs. That's in a 2,000 calorie diet. Most motherfuckers don't eat 2,000 calories. And then if you're seeing that you're gaining weight, it's because of the fact that the amount of grams of carbohydrates that one eats holds three to four times the amount of water. So for one gram, it's three to four grams. So that's three grams or four grams of water for one gram of carbohydrate. So that's another way. So if you're keeping your carbs low, then you won't overspill where it takes carbohydrates to prevent fat loss. But you can eat certain carbs like greens. The kale, the darker the green, the better. Like the, the sweet, the darker, how, they, how that shit go? The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. The darker the green, the better it is. And then it has fiber, which slows down the process. But if you're eating rice, breads, pastas, crackers, cookies, cakes, all that other stuff, then the degree of fiber is not going to be that sufficient. And therefore, you're going to spike your insulin. Insulin is the culprit here where fat loss is being prevented. So try to make sure that you don't eat over, which I like to go not over 200 grams of carbs if you're trying to lose weight. 200 grams and you times that by four, that's 800, which 453 grams is equal to one pound. So you may be gaining two pounds of water weight with the carbs. That's my new shit right now, trying to figure out this carb thing because I love my carbs, but I don't want to gain that weight. So just make sure that the insulin is the culprit and making sure that you're eating foods that are not spiking your insulin, therefore preventing your fat loss. This is BX Fit running this shit. Have a great day. Continue having, making, and doing the things that you need to do to make sure you reach those goals. 
Have a great day. Peace.